Welcome to the Logic Hop Quick Start video. I'm going to walk you through all the steps you need to take to get Logic Hop up and running. I'm in a new WordPress install, so I've got nothing installed here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump to Plugins and choose Add New. In the search box, I'm going to type Logic Hop, and you'll see we'll get a lot of search results for Logic Hop for our various add-ons. But the one we want to install first is the Logic Hop Personalized Marketing for WordPress plugin. I'm going to go ahead and click Install Now. And once it's installed, go ahead and click Activate. Now, if you're using a Logic Hop license key, such as a basic license, a professional license, or an agency license, you're going to also need to install the Logic Hop Local Storage plugin. To do so, go ahead and click Add New again. And then this time we're going to click Upload Plugin. Choose File. Then go ahead and select the Logic Hop Local Storage zip file that you received when you purchased your license key. Click Install Now. Now it's worth noting that the Logic Hop Local Storage plugin is about 30 megabytes, so it may take a little bit of time to upload. If you run into any issues, you can always upload the Local Storage plugin via SFTP. Check our website for full details on how to do that. Once the plugin's uploaded, go ahead and click Activate. Now that we have both of our plugins, we're going to jump over to the Logic Hop settings page. And you'll notice here that we have a number of different settings, and it can seem a little overwhelming at first, but we have quick settings that makes this very easy to go ahead and do. So the first thing we want to do is paste in our license key. And then you'll see that it asks for our domain name and that we provide a recommended domain name. This is typically best to use. With your domain name in place, go ahead and click the Logic Hop Recommended Settings. What this is going to do is enable all of our recommended settings, and you can scroll down and see which ones have been updated. They'll be highlighted in yellow. Once you have a chance to review, go ahead and click Save Changes. And let's take a quick look at our other quick settings. If you have a caching plugin installed, such as WP SuperCache, Total Cache, or if you're using a third-party caching service like Cloudflare, you're going to want to go ahead and click this option as well. If you have a hosting provider that doesn't support PHP sessions, such as WP Engine or Pantheon, click our Host Without PHP Sessions option. If you are looking to require consent for GDPR countries, go ahead and click the GDPR Require Consent option. And if you're looking to enable test or debug mode, go ahead and click that option as well. I'm just going to use our Logic Hub recommended settings for now. With all this in place, let's go ahead and create our first condition. I'm going to navigate to our conditions page and click Add New. I'm going to give this condition a title. In this scenario, I'm going to go ahead and use a UTM code, UTM content, and I'm going to select query string. And then here's where I'm going to input my variable. I'm going to type UTM underscore content as it would appear in the URL and then I'm going to choose is, and I'm going to choose case insensitive. This will allow it to be uppercase or lowercase. And for the value, awesome. I'm going to go ahead and publish this. And there we go, our condition is created. You'll see that I left our condition description blank, but you can fill that out, especially when you have more complex conditions down the line. With our condition in place, let's go ahead and create a quick logic bar. I'm going to click Add New. And then I'm going to give this a title. And then in our logic bar settings, I'm going to use display when, and here I'm going to select my condition, UTM content is awesome. And when this condition is met, Logic Hop will display this logic bar on your site. Let's go ahead and click publish. And now I'm going to open up our site in a new tab. Visiting our site, you'll see I've got a very simple landing page here. Let's go ahead and add that UTM content equals awesome. 
And there we go. Everything is awesome. So this is all you need to do to get up and running with Logic Hop. It's very easy to walk through with our quick settings, but if you have any questions, run into any issues, check our documentation or shoot us an email at info at We're definitely here to help you get up and running.